Hello everyone, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel, where hot rodding and romance do coexist. I'm your host, Prince Magnum. Welcome to Surviving Romance, but not just any episode of Surviving Romance. Welcome to the Valentine's Day Special 2021 Valentine's Day. Anyhow, so, in this particular episode, um, you know, normally every year we do something, we try to do something special, show off what I'm doing for Princess Bay and everything. Well, this year we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to leave those things that I'm doing for her just for her. Those are just for her. But you ladies will still get your special. Not just any special, though. Um, around uh, last year, uh, when more and more of the stories, uh, you know, um, Some of the stuff that I have done, you know, as a husband, uh, you know, charging into, you know, uh, into danger for a woman that I didn't know, and you know, things like that. When more and more of these stories started coming out, uh, our ladies, um, our lady Mavericks, was like, that's, you know, they they love, you know, the, the heroic stories of romance, you know, a husband rushing to his wife to get her out of a bad situation was just glad that she was okay or coming to the aid of an of another person's wife you know another man's wife uh without expecting anything without trying to take advantage of it uh you know just because it's the right thing to do you know stories like that you ladies love those stories you love hearing that chivalry isn't dead because it isn't, especially here on this channel. So that is what I'm going to give to you ladies to, in this year's Valentine's Day special. Let me start off talking about the first, uh, the first part of this video montage that you're about to see. Uh, basically, uh, last year, as the making of this video, it's 2021, you know, Valentine's Day 2021. Uh, last year, uh, Princess Faye on her way to work. Project Lena ruptures a radiator hose, and of all the things, all you know, cooling, you know, sprays out. She has to shut her down. Call me. I have to rush to her aid. Uh, so I grabbed the, the camera equipment and turned it on. You know, uh, you know, basically talking about the importance. You know, it basically, I just happen to have. You know, I, I I always have camera equipment on me. Typical YouTuber. I always have camera equipment on me anymore, and I rush to get my wife, Princess Faye, and, you know, I cherish moments like that because there may come a time when I may not be in a, you know, I may not be able to go to her aid, and I'm always, you know, it's always, you know, if, you know, she needs help, you know, will someone truly help her or try to take advantage of the situation, and that's, that's always a concern of mine, and I know anybody, you know, any loving husband, that is a concern. The second one that I'm uh, going to show you is one that we we haven't talked about this, uh, you know, the, the video, uh, the video bits in the second part of this. You guys haven't seen that in a long time. Um, this is back when we would only had Project Spirit about a year, about a year, and uh, we we weren't even that big of a channel then. I think we were at about a little over, you know, a little. Uh, Actually, yeah, just a little under 200, uh, you know, subscribers at that time. Tell you how far back we go on this video, um, and I basically, you know, I got to work, snow coming down, and I eased, pro you know, Project Spirit, and I kind of eased our way into the old, you know, the old farm at McDonald's that isn't there. Anymore. Uh, now there's a brand new one in its place. You know, a few years back, just making this video. But we eased in, and you know, um, you know, the store's open and everything, and we get a phone call uh, from our store manager uh, asking if I was there. Yeah, yeah uh, could he come get me? I've had a bit of an accident uh, out here on Buffalo, and um, from there, uh, I jumped into Project Spirit 
you know, made sure I had a kind of a location where to find her and everything, made sure I was going in the right direction, and eased my way out there. Like always, like a good YouTuber, I had camera equipment, and I also had it on there in case anything was to happen, you know, I'm on the clock, you know, uh, sort of thing. So for, for so purposes of insurance, I eased my way out there to get my store manager and uh, brought her back to work, got her all warmed up, and then, you know, she calls the tow truck company to get her car out of, uh, we've always joked and said it was a ditch, but it's practically, it, it's just short of an embankment, because she'd hit it just right, she'd have rolled her car, so she got lucky. Um, so, she calls the tow truck company, and they said they can't pull her car out of the ditch, uh, unless somebody is there, you know, with the keys and everything, and, uh, so we had to, I had to take her back out to her car in the middle of all of that snow. After I got her out of danger, I had to take her back into danger, uh, which I was not comfortable with. And then I helped the tow truck driver get her car out of the ditch and uh, followed her all the way back to work. Um, this is also the same store manager that when her, her hip gave out, I always joked, and you know, we always joke about me being so doggone skinny. This is the same store manager. I, when her hip gave out, she was at work and she, she couldn't, she couldn't walk hardly. Uh, I pulled her, I pulled her car up to uh, the door, you know, where she didn't have that far to go, and then I helped her to her own car so she could make it home. And then, of course, she was out of work for a few months and ended up having to have hip surgery. Same exact boss. Uh, so, yeah. I was right there, and uh, basically her husband was unable to come to her aid in both of these instances that I'm talking about. Um, so, you know, being, uh, uh, being, you know, understanding what it's like being a husband, loving your wife and everything, of course, I was glad to help. And, uh, you know, in the end, my wife gets bragging rights that her husband is that kind of a guy, you know, come to the aid of a of uh, especially a woman in need. I'm still, I'm still a sucker for the damsel in distress. And of course, last but not least, th this video footage uh, is, we're still doing some editing and uh, that sort of thing and some filming on this. And we'll talk more about this, but basically, Princess Faye gives me that horrible phone call in the middle of the night. I had, thankfully, I was off work, uh, so I didn't have to be at work. And it gives me that horrible phone call, honey, I've got two flat tires. And uh, like a good husband, I had to, uh, you know, I, you know, I went and came to my wife's rescue. There was a few hiccups here and there. It was, just, you know, it was a bit of a struggle, but we got our car, you know, we got our car fixed. And I took care of my wife, brought her home. Her and her car are well enough to just mosey back and forth to work, you know, Project Lena, and of course being there for Princess Faye. That is what a husband does because if I didn't want to be her husband, um, you know, I wouldn't have said I do. And if I and if I hadn't have said I do, I wouldn't have loved her. I wouldn't. If I didn't love her, I wouldn't have said I do. Okay, if you will. So basically, I love her enough to say I do. And if I truly mean that I love her enough to say I do, I have no problem risking myself for her, you know, to bring her home and make sure she's safe, to do exactly what a husband's supposed to do. And of course, at the same time, because I know you ladies talk, uh, giving her the, all the bragging rights that I possibly can. So I've yapped on long enough. Let's get to this video montage.